Welcome back. Time is 718. Valentine's Day, believe it or not, right around the corner. If you're looking for something maybe a bit different from the usual outing, romantic outing, albeit you'll want to check out the Cupid's Chase 5K. And here with more on the run, how you can get signed up is Bill Wagner. Bill, good to have you here. Today. Thank you. Thank Talk you. about. It. So first, I, in order to sort of introduce uh, the idea here, you're with an organization called Community Options. Tell us about that. Yes, <clears throat> Community Options is a national not-for-profit uh, providing services for people, individuals with disabilities. Um, we've been providing services since 1989. Uh, we're in eight different states, mm -hmm. 27 cities. Corporate offices are located in Princeton, New Jersey. So this run is part of your organization. Uh, what individuals, what groups do you support through events like this? Um, we support individuals with uh, intellectual disabilities, developmental disabilities, uh, traumatic, brain traumatic brain injuries. Mm. Um, it's not really about the label or the disability. It's important for us to know to develop you know, our support strategies and health plans. But it's really about the individual. It's about people. Mm -hmm. It's about supporting people that don't necessarily get the same opportunity that maybe you and I or other people have had. So we have housing programs, we have supported employment programs, day services, um, all kinds of ad advocacy programs. So is this a fundraiser than this run? A way, fun way to get money for the organization, yes. I guess is the way you could put it. All right, so tell me about the run. What's it, what's it based on? Well, what's the idea? Well, if, if you're a serious runner, it's, it's a 5K, it's a certified 5K, but more importantly, um, we have fun with it. Um, we'll have individuals coming in costume running. Uh, you know, we promote it as a run, walk, or roll if you're in a wheelchair. Okay. Um, it's always Valentine's Day or the Saturday after Valentine's Day. And um, in that, the spirit of uh, St. Valentine's, we have um, shirts, all runners, single runners will get an available shirt if you're part of a couple. <laughs> um, we have unavailable shirts. Um, it's about it's about the heart. It's about love. It's about the community coming out and supporting us. That makes sense. Again, those two colors and those shirts ideas are really what kind of make this more about Valentine's Day than anything we else. We have a lot right? of fun with it. This Valentine's Day is on a Saturday, if I'm not mistaken, correct? correct? So is that then when this is taking place? Yep. Okay. Details, time, uh, where people can go to register. There's still room, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, you can register online. Um, you can go to our our website. I believe is going to be uh, posted up here. Yeah. We'll uh, have a link to it okay. on krqa.com. The race is at Bloom Fiesta Park. Um, starting time is 10 o'clock. Pre-registration, the day of the event is at starts at 8. Um, anyone pre-registering online can uh, will receive a discount. We're actually running a special today. Um, I think the code, you go online, there's a code for uh, KRQE or, or CASA, and you will get receive a $5 discount if you're a single. There's a deal. Yeah, and if, if you're not a single, you're a couple, um, you can go on and you will receive 50% off the second registration. Ah, there you go. And that's good for this week. Everybody benefits whether Everybody. you're single or not. All right, this is actually, I, I understand, part of a nationally run race, correct? Yes, yes. How many there, other states participate in this? And tell me about that. There'll be nine states this year running um, from New York, New Jersey, Tennessee, uh, out west, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico. Um, I believe we're in 29 cities this year, so it's a part, a chance to be a part of something much bigger. All proceeds locally um, go to help support people here in Albuquerque or in our office in Santa Fe, um, but it's a bigger thing. It's it's a chance to be a part of something bigger. Has this turned into a matchmaking thing? I know you have people meet and greet at this <laughs> this hey, race. <laughs> any, anything's possible, and I, I just have to add this this year here in Albuquerque, some sort of anomaly. We have. Uh, Ten women for every one oh, male you're register. Me. Yeah, so so guys, <laughs> here's your here's your opportunity. There come you go. Come out and uh, and have fun. There you go. Sounds good. Okay, so again, this is all benefiting your organization. What yes. do you want people to know about uh, about your organization and 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 actually getting money put into the system to help folks through it? Well, this gives us an opportunity to uh, provide better services for the individuals that we serve, whether it's. You know, through our housing program, whether it's a, a supported employment program. Um, for me, I've, I've been doing supported employment for a long time, and there's something, you know, that I, it's very rewarding to um, help an individual that maybe ne doesn't necessarily get that opportunity. Um, I had a young lady once in an interview um, that said that you know, she wanted to get a job helping people because her whole life people had helped her. Mm. And, you know, it's not about um, 
what they can't do, it's about what they can. Yeah, that makes sense. And of course, it's a fun way to do it this race. We'll have more information online for folks. KRQE.com. Look under the KRQE links and we'll get details to you about that discount too. Bill Wagner, thanks so much Thank with you. Community Options. We appreciate it. We'll be right back, folks. Stay with us.